guys, it's mom. We got our second tadpole crate today. We're really excited to open it. Are we excited to open it? Yes. Yes. Let's open it. Let's open it. Let's open it. Let's open it. All right, looks like we have, it says kitchen play. Oh, excuse me. What does it say? DIY dough. Oh, so we're gonna make our own Play-Doh. Yeah. It has it's a little pot or pan, a cookie cutter. Here, you can have these. Yeah. I'll trade you. Thank you. Make this is non-toxic liquid dough. Oh, interesting. I know you have to, to make it first. Dough powder contains gluten. Ooh, yay. Another board book. Olive's birthday surprise. Give her, okay, you hold that. Uh, a bag. Looks like, ooh, little wooden spoon, cute. Look, it's your size. Uh, oh, cute. It looks like a little play oven. This is wooden. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Uh, and that's it. All right, let's look at this book. This book, Olive's Birthday Surprise. Turn through some of the pages so you can see. Back at home. Oh, it looks like they're cooking some kind of birthday dish. So we'll pretend to cook some kind of birthday dish, great. Okay, great. All right, so in this Kiwi Crate, um, we have directions to make Play-Doh, and we also have the ingredients to make Play-Doh, and it looks like it's um, a little bit easier than you think it might be. Come back here, where are you going? I you, that's, oh, you're getting that stuff? It's not time to cook it yet. I'm gonna open this bag, here you go. Oh, and I should say that um, this uh, this cutting board is mine. Um, I don't know how messy this is gonna be. I, I don't think it's gonna be that messy though. Famous last words. Open, good job. All right, so. I don't know. It's so funny. It's so funny. I'm gonna need some scissors. I think you might need scissors. We got our scissors. Now we're ready. We're gonna open it up. Off the bottom. Get off the bottom. Open this good. And I'm gonna empty it inside. Hold this, but be very gentle. Very gentle. Hold it. Don't drop it. Alright, I gotta shake it up. Shake it up. Give it. No! And then I'm gonna pour this one inside. There's a oh. protective seal on it. Now I'm ready. So don't pour that out. You gotta hold it up like this. Are you holding it? Are you holding it? Oh, are you holding it? It is, it would stain something. It. Don't do this over a white carpet. Now I sealed it up. I hope I sealed it. And we're just gonna mix it. Will you help me mix? All right. So put your hands on the powdery part and squish it, squish, squish, squish. We're squishing it. We're squishing it. You squish it? Squish, 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 squish. Ah! I am wishing a lot of this will be done by you. All right, I should probably read the directions. Here's the directions. It says, shake up the dough liquid and add it into the bag. We did that. High five. Then seal the bag. Leave some air in the bag so you can squish the dough. We did that. High five. Pow. Number three, mix and knead the dough in the bag until it starts to come together. Then take the dough out of the bag and knead the dough some more until it's smooth. You ready? ready? All right, let's roll up our sleeves. I'm rolling them. Let's open it. We're gonna open it. Oh my goodness. I'm so nervous about this right now. I'm just kneading it in the bag so it's a little bit less sticky so she can keep it. You know, in retrospect, doing this in the living room is probably not a great idea. All right, keep it on the cutting board. There you go. I'm gonna go wash my hands now. They're a little bit sticky. Are you keeping it on the cutting board? Yes. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
All right, so while she plays with the Play-Doh, I am going to do the other side of the activity sheet. You turn the box into a stove. That's so cute. So you take your box, you close your box, then um, you cover it with this cute play stove cover. It's really cute. You just um, put it over the top and then all these um, side pockets, you can just put these little slits inside. I did it! That's what it looks like. How cute is that? It's got a little wooden knob. All right, so um, the next part of the activity is you just play with it. Daddy, you could come play. Have daddy come play. It came with this stove. It came with a play spoon. It came with a little pan that she could pretend to cook with and adjust the temperature. What are we making today? We're making the chicken. Making chicken? Look. You want to make a star cookie? All right. Let's make a star cookie. And then we push it. Push. Push, 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 push. A star cookie. A star cookie. This star did come in the kit. That's it. Are you going to cook it up? Uh-oh, but we got to put it on our stove. Here's the stove. Thank you. Okay. You can cook it up? Yes. And this is the hot, hot, ooh, hot, hot fire. And then you turn up your fire and you cook. Don't touch it. <laughs> you cook it up. Um. So this part of the video is my review. Uh, that's where I talked to the other people considering buying the tadpole crate to say whether or not I thought it was worth it. This is our second crate that we've gotten. So with this crate, just like the last crate, uh, when I first opened it up, I was a little afraid. <laughs> you know, when it says you're gonna be making your own Play-Doh, my first instinct is, oh great, what another mess I get to clean up. But it wasn't too bad. I think the only mess that happened was on my manicure. You know, if you just keep it confined to one area, it's not a big deal. Um, the Play-Doh itself feels like actual like bread dough. I really like the color of the dough. And my daughter loves Play-Doh, so I was, I knew she would like the activity. This crate, it, as opposed to the last crate that we got, the last crate we had, there were so many activities. I, I think there were four activities and it was, um, I could not do them all in one day. This uh, crate only really has one activity. I mean, you make the Play-Doh and then you play with it. And then there's a booklet that talks about um, how important sensory play is. So I wish with this crate that there was like a couple other activities um, also. Overall, I mean, it's fun. Kids like Play-Doh. They like to get their hands a little sticky. They like to play pretend. The crate itself was really cute. The little pan, the wooden spoon, the knob on the oven was wooden. Again, just like the last crate, all of the things included were pretty high quality things that you could use again for other activities. So I was very pleased with that. That's about it. If you're curious about what's in other tadpole crates, we have a lot more coming. So please subscribe to our channel and you can consider whether you wanna buy this product or not. Also on my channel, I do two minute reviews of products for moms to use on their kids. Lotions, diaper, rash cream, you name it. I probably have a review for it. If you don't see something that you want to see a review for, you can also tell me and I'll probably go out and buy it and do a review. Also, oh yeah, don't forget, please like this video. And that's about it. Have a nice day. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.